Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. I have a quick unboxing for you today. This is the Twisby unboxing. And I ordered mine through Yoseka. on the day that it released. And that was mainly due because there was a couple things I really wanted to get from Yoseka as well. So we have uh, another card, slightly different. Thanks again. Love the new Twisby and Joy from Amy. Edition 7. I don't think I have this edition. I'll have to check. Okay, we get another card from Abby C. A postcard. And a few things. Oh, I get another Yoseka sticker from Abby C. And I did get a few other things. So I chose to grab a dip holder. This is a brass dip pen holder. And I really love this color, this blue color. And I wanted to get the ornament nibs. And I didn't realize when I Googled it that these actually show up on Yoseka. So this is what I really want to do. And I really wanted this for my um, doing samples in my ink journal. <clears throat> and I was toying with the idea of doing it in my 30 days 30 ink. So it might show up sometime in one of the days or a few days, but not every single day. I don't believe I will use it. But these, oh, it's kind of crooked. Why is this one so crooked? I think I need some pliers to fix it. But these are the ornament nibs, and they are the nibs that will give you a circular um, sample of writing, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So to go with that, I just take this and I put it in the nib holder here. It's kind of hard to push it in. I need a, uh, like a rubber grip. There we go. So I managed to use my pliers to raise the black portion up, which is there to help hold more ink so it doesn't dry out. So I'm just gonna set these two aside and my dip pen aside. We're gonna test out that dip pen in just a minute. Okay, on to the good stuff. Here is my Twisby Eco and this is the new Twisby. And I got it in the extra fine. Look at this. I think that actually goes really well. So it's a dark blue. Here's my um, other blue, which is a little bit brighter. I think that's really pretty. Oh, and you get like a little bit a gold trim on the finial, towards the finial, or the piston knob. Pretty. 
All right, so I'm not gonna ink this up today. You'll have to figure out which O oh, in the finial has a special, it's like different. I don't know if they do that all the time with some of their different accent ecos, but that's different too. Okay, so you'll have to wait to see which day this month I actually use this fountain pen, but it is, has the rose gold nib and it is an extra fine. But I do want to test out my brass dip pen. So I have some Iruful paper. And I'm going to use Inaho from Pilot Irishizuku to use as like a testing ink. I don't use this ink very often. It is limited now. There may be a few stores that still have it, but it is no longer an ink that is being sold or reproduced. a lot of ink so I think I should hold it at an angle <laughs> I did not mean for that to happen isn't this cool Very consistent lines. So yeah, if you hold it at an angle, then it won't drip. Um, so this is Pilot. Hiro Shizuku. Ina. Oh. So you can do some fun fonts. with this. And you can definitely see variation in the color of ink. Okay, so I wanted to try another color. So I got Aristotle from Organic Studio. Hmm. 
this is very juicy. So when you dip, I guess you don't want to dip too much or you need to make sure you kind of take some off on the edges of the bottle. It feels a little scratchy when you're running out of ink or about to are running low. So this is going to take forever to dry. Um, you will have trouble writing in small font. So you get three nibs in a pack and you get to pick different sizes. The size I chose is a two millimeter. But yeah, it's really fun. You can definitely see the shading effect and um, how the ink has its different layers of color. This is definitely not dry yet. All of that ink on there. The Ina hose, or the, yeah, the Ina hose is pretty cool. How it looks brown, then there's some yellow, and then there's some like really rich warm browns. Can I write on the tip? I can. So I can take it on its edge here and pull some ink out. Yeah, I can only use it to really just pull out some ink from a pile that has a lot of ink to dry. So again, this is Iroquois paper. And let me... Do some tests on Tamoy River paper. All right, so this page I haven't used yet, and I'm just gonna write something in big letters, obviously. Ugh. Again, mess up there.
Okay, so this is the kind of dip pen that you have fun with, um, with very minimal effort, very easy to play with, and um, it's going to actually take forever to dry, so you might want to make sure you have a lot of time to play or have some type of drying mechanism. And so I have my Ranger heat tool. I do feel like this tool only goes so far. You can see I still have some areas that are super shiny, like the hello, the H and the E, and then the A and Y and day are still really wet and are gonna take more than just my heat tool to dry it out because otherwise the paper's gonna get super crinkly. So it's better to just lay it out and let it dry naturally. And the same with this paper. So for a single page, if it does crinkle, I like to also heat up the other side so it can also crinkle the opposite direction to try to flatten it out. But still, after using the heat tool, there's still some wet spots up here and under the pilot and in the hello and in the Aristotle. So, oh, and over here as well. So yeah, this is gonna take some time to dry, but I think it's really fun, easy way to get some large font and even make some Christmas cards possibly with this, um, with some decorations. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited to use this pen. They have so many different nibs. I don't know why I didn't get a couple more of different sizes. Um, they have a one millimeter, uh, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. I can't remember if they go higher than three, but um, it's really fun to play with. So thank you for watching and I hope you found this helpful. And if you didn't know that they had ornament nibs at Yoseka, now you do also keep a lookout on my 30 days 30 ink journey and um, see if you can guess what day I will use this on. All right. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you next video. Bye.